Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about PCOS and weight gain and the frustrating cycle that you constantly go through when you are experiencing symptoms um, and you can't seem to break them. And all you're told is that, oh, well this issue here, now PCOS, I'm just gonna talk about this. Um, <clears throat> this can also apply for things like endometriosis, fibroids, right, polyps in your uterus, anything that physically impacts your reproductive organs. Why are your reproductive organs changing? Because there's an upstream hormonal issue. And that upstream hormonal issue also impacts these things too. So it feels like you're in this never ending loop trying to make an improvement because all you're doing is focusing either on these symptoms or just focusing on this when you're not actually looking further upstream. Hmm, yes. Um, I have more information on this on my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. Subscribe to make sure you are staying updated on all the videos that I have coming out. I also have information in my books, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon, The Female Menopause Solution, which is on Amazon. Um, and then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. Make sure you are um, subscribing to that as well to stay updated on all the episodes I have coming out. So, with PCOS, one of the most common things that I hear is, oh, I just keep gaining this weight and I can't lose it. And all I'm told is I need to lose weight and that's gonna help my PCOS. But if my PCOS causes weight gain, but the weight gain also impacts my PCOS, how do I, how do I really lose weight? Or insulin resistance. PCOS is causing, uh, you know, contributing to my insulin resistance. And I'm doing all these things. I'm eating really well. I'm exercising. I'm trying to take these supplements. I'm trying to do all these things for my system, but it's just not working. Yeah. Yeah. Because the insulin resistance is also then creating the issue, right? What about inflammation? There's inflammation in my system. I have other cycle issues, other hormone issues. I have other androgen issues, testosterone issues. A lot of gals that have PCOS also have acne or issues with their hair falling out, stuff like that. Those are other hormone issues that are also related to PCOS. You can also have other fatigue issues. It's tougher to build and maintain muscle. You have other pain in your body, abdominal pain, things like that. Again, PCOS can contribute to this as well as this contributes to the PCOS. How is this possible? How does it seem like, how does this all relate? This thing seems ridiculous. Who, saw, who, who did this? Whose idea was this? Come on, right? But the truth of the matter is here is that this is basically in this list. It is not a separate thing. Just because we call it PCOS, just because these are the symptoms that you have, doesn't mean that it's like the only thing that causes these issues here. These issues here are caused by a hormonal imbalance. Now, how do we know it's a hormonal imbalance? How do we know what's really going on in your system? Dutch test. This is something that every gal that is in the 12 week challenge will get. You get your own comprehensive hormone panel. And I'm going to put a link there in the comments for the wait list for the next 12 week challenge for you to get on the wait list. Uh, the registration link is only sent to the wait list and it does fill in about 24 hours. So you get your own comprehensive hormone test. You find out exactly what your system is doing and then you know exactly how to target this. Why would this be important? Oh, it, it, wouldn't it be just, oh, if I have this issue then I need to do all the listed things for people for PCOS? No, no, because your hormone pathways could be different than somebody else's. And if all you're doing is the same thing as somebody else, your system, your body, your health history, your stress levels are different. So you're gonna need to do different things to make sure that you can get ahead of and stay ahead of these issues here, right? Everybody, you know, women and men gain and lose weight differently, right? It's the same thing for PCOS. If you have a different type of PCOS than somebody else, it's gonna be different for you. And a lot of that will depend on what we see on your hormone report. Endometriosis, fibroids, polyps, things like that. All different specifically based on your system. But this is one of the most frustrating things because a lot of times just these issues get blamed on PCOS, which doesn't leave you anywhere to go. It doesn't leave you any solutions other than, oh, fix your PCOS, but you don't just fix it. Do you know what I mean? That's not how that, right? Your hormones are off because of something else upstream. That's what we have to look at. That's what we have to figure out and then get your system, your body working better, functioning better so that you can not only feel better, but then your issues stay better. Yeah. So again, these are things that we do in the 12 week challenge. Um, get on the wait list there in the comments. And if you guys have other questions, um, please let me know. But this is, this is more of a complex issue than just saying, oh, take this supplement. It really helps and blah, blah, blah. I mean, maybe it does, 
But if you've tried all these things and you're like, this isn't working for me, stop guessing. Stop spinning your wheels. Find exactly what your body needs and then go after it. All right, that's what I got for you tonight. Let me know your questions and I will see you later.